So welcome to today's lesson. I'm Guido Canrindo and I'm going to take you through how to use the Doolittle to solve system of linear equation. And we are going to illustrate that with this example here. So we have this system here and we are supposed to solve it using the Doolittle. So when you have this system here, the first thing we do is that we form our coefficient matrix and we also form our B matrix um, vector. So we realize that this will be our coefficient matrix A to be 1, 5, 2, um, this particular 3 by 3 matrix here. And this B is going to be a uh, constant. Remember that always is of the form AX equals B. So A is our coefficient matrix and B is the vector. So because you are using the dual Little's method, what we do is that we decompose A into a product of a lower triangular matrix and an upper triangular matrix. So that means our A will be equal to LU. So we all know what a lower triangular matrix is and what an upper triangular matrix is. So for a lower triangular matrix, all these parts are zero. And for an upper triangular matrix, these parts are also zero. So remember that we said with the do little, the entries of the diagonals or the diagonal entries for our lower triangular matrix are all one. So that means we have one here, one here, and one here. We have L2, one here, L3, two. L31. So here we have 00, zero and we have these um, variables or constants that we have to find. So the next thing is that we do matrix matrix multiplication. So we multiply this L matrix and this U matrix. So when you do this matrix matrix multiplication, we end up with this particular 3 by 3 matrix here. So when we are done, then we use the law of equality of matrices. So you realize that our U11 will be equal to 1, our U12 will be equal to 5, our U13 will be equal to 2, everything here will be equal to this, this 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 will be equal to this, and this will be equal to this. So we use those ones to find these nine unknown constants that we want to find. So that means by the equality of the matrices, our uh, u11 will be equal to 1, u12 will be equal to 5, u13 will be equal to 2. We've already illustrated it up there. And everything here will be equal to whatever is here. But remember that uh, L21, which u11 equals 6. So L21 is equal to 6 over u11. But remember that u11 has been found to be 1. When you bring the 1 here, that means our L21 is 6. To find our L31, it will be L31, u11 will be equal to 7. So that means that L31 will be equal to 7 over u11. And u11 is 1. So when you put it inside, you get 7. So that means to find this, you also have to equate it to this to find this. And the rest is just solving linear equations, um, a concept from junior high school. So I know you'll be able to find your L21s, you'll be able to find your U13, or U23, find your L32, you get this. You find your U33, you also get this. So that means our L21, after going through or solving those linear equations, our L21 will be 6, L31 will be 7, L32 will be 11 over 9. So that means that our lower triangular matrix is going to be 1, 0, 0, 6, 1, 0, 7, 11 over 9, 1. So you realize that is our lower triangular matrix. And these were the values for our U's. So that means that our upper triangular matrix is also going to be 1, 5, 2, 0, negative 27, negative 5, 0, 0, 19 over 9. So that's our upper triangular matrix. So that means we've been able to decompose A into a product of a lower triangular matrix and an upper triangular matrix. So the next thing is to find, because you are solving for this system, so you are supposed to find for our X. So you know with LU decomposition, we solve we first solve LY equals B for some Y. And we then solve UX equals Y for our X. So let's come to that one. So we find the intermediate solution. That's solving Ly equals B for some Y. So we get 1, 0, 0 because this is our lower triangular matrix. This is our Y and this is the B from the question. I hope you remember. Yeah. So we remember that uh, this is very simple because it has already been reduced for you. So when you solve this particular um, um, equation that we have here, you're going to have U, L1 to be, um, sorry, Y1 to be 2 y2 to be negative 8 and y3 to be 7 over 9. So, because remember that this one will be y1 will be equal to 2. And we are going to get 6y1 plus y2 will be equal to 4. 
So we get 6y1 will be equal to 4 minus y2. But what is our y2? Our y2 is, um, sorry, come on. We are finding for y2, right? So, that means our y2 will be equal to 4 minus 6y1. Then we have y2 be equal to 4 minus 6. What is y1 2? So minus 2. So y2 be 4 minus 12, which is minus 8. So as we have here, when you use the same thing, you get y3 to be 7 over 9. Then the next thing is solving this system ux equals y for the system solution. Because we said after solving for ly equals b, then we solve for ux equals y for our x. That's what we are after in the question. So this alpha triangular matrix, and this is our x's, and this is our y. So when you solve this system to, you are going to get x to be seven over fifty, s one to be seven over fifty seven, s two to be thirteen over fifty seven, and s three to be seven over nineteen. So this is what the question demanded us to solve, and that's the solution to the system of equations we had about using the Doolittle method. Thank you very much.